Hi guys, my name is Micah, and I wanted to share something really cool that I just discovered. Um, I'm sure all of us have seen this before. Our instruments are very, very tarnished, sometimes um, gray, sometimes black. I have a really cool bluish green on the top of this crown. Um, this flute just happens to be the very, very first flute I ever owned. This is a Yamaha model 285S2. Open hold, the head joint is solid silver and I believe the bodies were plated with silver. <laughs> and the you can see some really really caked on tarnish on this body as well. So today I'm going to teach you a really cool trick and very inexpensive trick to take all, if not, if not all, then most of the tarnish off of your flute. And it costs approximately two dollars to do. So this is really good if you don't want to spend a couple hundred dollars to have your flute shiny and silver again. So what you need is to go down to the 99 cent store, Dollar Tree, or any market and get yourself some baking soda. You need an aluminum pan, large enough to hold your flute uh, pieces. For this demonstration, I will um, restore the silver to the head joint alone because that can fit in it. And then, um, that's pretty much all you need. Two dollars. One dollar for this, one dollar for that, and then um, some boiling water. So, I'm going to walk you through the steps of how to take the tarnish off of your flute. Um, if you have any objects made out of silver, it doesn't have to be a flute necessarily. Um, it could be solid silver or it can be plated with silver. Um, just know that uh, you can use this method to take the tarnish off. It's a very old method and there are actually tons of videos on YouTube on how to clean your silver jewelry and your uh, silverware um, in the kitchen. Uh, this is really cool because I think this is the only video that does it for flute. So um, let's get started. Okay, here we go. So the first step that I like to do is I like to take this baking soda and uh, just put a little bit of it on the bottom of your aluminum pan. Now I have over here on my right some water that was pre-boiled and I put about a half a cup of baking soda into that hot water so it's already dissolved. Um, but I found in my previous experiments that having just a little bit of this dry uh, baking soda helps as well. So I'm going to take the uh, tarnished head joint and what we're going to do is take the cork out so that we only have the tarnished metal to work with. So you're going to unscrew this counterclockwise and then push down on the mechanism and repeat that as many times as you need to. Okay. When the crown comes off, just place the crown in the pan, the tarnished <laughs> purple crown, and then you have the cork mechanism here. I'll just, there we go. Uh, just push down on that and it'll pop right out. So as soon as you have the cork out, um, here it is from the instrument. We're just going to place that aside. We don't want to mess with the cork whatsoever. We have the head joint left over and there's tarnish on the inside, there's tarnish in the embouchure hole. It's not a pretty sight, but we're going to make it pretty. So place your flute head joint into the aluminum tray and that's that's all the preparation we need. Um, I'm going to take the hot water now very carefully. Let me put a mitt on. This is this is really hot. <laughs> And uh, here we go. It won't take long for this solution to take the tarnish off of the flute. Here we go. Watch closely. You want to submerge all of the metal in this solution. So, there we are. And 
it'll take just a couple of seconds in order to transform this head joint from severely tarnished into a beautiful silver. And as you heard, there's bubbling going on. It's probably from the carbon dioxide. Or not carbon dioxide, from the baking soda. And look at that. It's slowly but surely turning into a beautiful, beautiful silver. Do you see? It's gorgeous. So when silver tarnishes, it combines with sulfur and forms sulfur sulfide. Silver sulfide is black. And when a thin coating of silver sulfide forms on the surface of silver, it darkens the silver. And the silver can be returned to its former luster by removing the, sulfur, the silver sulfide coating uh, from the surface. So what we're doing here is <laughs> nothing short of magic. Well, not really. It's science. And it's cool science at that. Do you see how beautiful that head joint is? And look at that. The purple crown is no longer purple. It's a beautiful silver. So we're going to leave this. I would recommend leaving your head joint in here for at least five minutes just to make sure that all of the tarnish is removed and then at the end you just make sure that it's all dry look at how beautiful that is the water's really hot <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know why I'm using my hands to to take the flute out. But it sure is beautiful. Look at that silver. And it couldn't be simpler. It couldn't be cheaper. For $2, I just took all of the tarnish off. So let's take this out of the water. Look at that beautiful silver. the inside as well. That's one of the most wonderful benefits of this method. Instead of using a polishing cloth, you know, those things are very abrasive. And um, I know many repair men and women that I've worked with and talked with, they've, uh, they've been very hesitant <laughs> to recommend uh, people use a certain polishing cloths and polish removers because it will actually take a, uh, a significant amount of silver off of the instrument. So they recommend bringing it in um, to do this. But for two dollars, you know, that's gorgeous. So I hope you enjoy my video. If you did, uh, please click on like and subscribe and um, happy tarnish removing. Have a great day.